Hi, this is Tracy Fisher from Campground Manager Today. And this time, in this video, we're going to talk about... This is our third video, kind of a little mini-series. We're going to talk about what happens after the Teespring campaign is done. There's two that we ran for the Campground School t-shirts. It was the first time we tried it. There's a... It was probably 60 students total that we marketed to. Maybe 40 of them were in a Facebook group. And we had Ogilvy sent out an email to the whole group so that we could capture those who were actually not in Facebook. So both campaigns tipped. In video number two, we went in and reduced the campaign so that they would, so that the students would still get their shirts. And as it turns out, <laughs> after we reduced one of them down to 12, we ended up with 19 sales. So we got quite a bit more money than I anticipated we would get, and I'll show you how that worked. All right, so we're going to log into Teespring, and we're going to focus on two campaigns here. One of them was a shirt for the class of 215, and one of them was for the 2014 graduates. We reduced this one down to 10 so that it would tip, and at the time, there was only seven sales. So then people jumped in and they ordered three more and that campaign tipped. This one we reduced down to 12 because we had 12 sales at the time and we ended up selling 19. So we're going to come back to this page in a minute. Maybe not. Let's click here and let's see. Okay. Yeah. Let me halt this for a moment. Okay. It's on this page that when we're finished here, we're going to go in and request our money. Because the beautiful thing about Teespring is you don't have to wait for a month or two months or anything like that. Once the campaign prints and ships, they will send you your portion of the proceeds. But right now I want to take you to an analytics page. And that is over here. And the address is analytics.teespring.com And we're going to work with, this was an example that we worked in and then I canceled it just to show how to create the t-shirt and right now if we click on analytics what's helpful about this you know it gives you a lot of information a lot of this stuff we know tipping point what the dates were you'll be able to come back in later if you forget you know views and orders over time that's all fine and good for these simple small campaigns I'm not paying a lot of attention it does help kind of like Facebook Insights, it does help to know when people are ordering. So these were the uh, by the hour of the day, and this is the day of the week. We got our most orders on Friday and Monday. And this is where the sales came from. And this no referrer source here, it's an assumption on my part, but I believe that's the email that was sent out. And people were able to click on the link from there. So for the most part, mobile Facebook, this is standard Facebook. I haven't um, really narrowed these down yet to get into the nitty gritty. But what I like the most, especially if you're going to run these over time, is that it tells us what was ordered and how many. So there was a surprising number of hoodies that were ordered for this one in particular, and we make quite a bit more money for hoodies than we did for t-shirts. So I thought the whole both campaigns we were going to make about $30 and we ended up making over 100 which is wonderful. We're going to put it towards something good for the school. Now mainly what I was happy about is that the students were able to order a shirt and see the process. They could see the emails that they got. Some of them didn't get the emails. They went into a spam folder. So when your campers are asking you, where's my email? What can I expect? You've been through the process, you're familiar with it. Which reminds me, is that a lot of times people will order the first shirt themselves. Because it does look nicer if one has been sold. And, um, you know, then you have it in stock too. You can always show an example if you're going to run it again. So, let's jump back over to the other campaign and see what the breakdown is for that. Seven... Seven people ordered. We had a total of ten up there. And kind of the same time frame. They're morning searchers. We had our most views on, well, Monday and Friday. 
Now, same thing, we had that email definitely brought people in to take a look. And the other links came from the Facebook group. And here, we had three out of ten were hoodies, which helped get our, our numbers up for that. And now we're going to pop over to where we request our money. So we had come in here. This is our Teespring. Let me back up here to this page. This is our general page. You can click on any one of these. You actually get an email as soon as the campaign tips. There will be a link there too. And here you can check out your profits. And it shows you. So look how pleased we are. $105.92. Now, this was shirts that went out to a group of 60 people all together. And there is not $105.92 worth of work that went into this. It can literally be a 15 minute process of setting up the campaign and sending an email and then commenting about it once or twice while the campaign is running on your Facebook group for $105.92. We'll be running more later on too. This was a test. What a wonderful group we had. They're willing to be our guinea pigs. So we'll run more. And here we're going to request a payout. I'm going to be paid by PayPal. And we have options. You can do a bank check. Um, I give them this. And it'll take up to four business days. They receive the request. And we can tweet or share it if we want. Always, if we have any questions, support at teespring.com. And I do believe that this video 3 of 3 completes our process. We now have a note here that we've requested the payout. And if you do run a campaign, please message me. I'd love to watch it. I want to see how it goes. Thank you very much for listening.